On the last episode of Trudy Bedrock, we added a whole new block of buildings to our city. We opened up Beardy's Boutique Clothing Shop, and we closed down Tiz's Pickle Shop because of health and safety violations. On this episode, we do this, and this, and this. And yep, I don't know what those this things are yet, because I haven't actually done the recording. That's, that's actually what we're about to do now. So, I do have some plans, however, and those plans start over here in this cool shop with the funky walls. I do like the walls in here. And probably upstairs as well, because I think I know what shop I want to put in here. And that is going to be a honey shop. We've got lots of honey-related things, and I think if we were to hang a bee nest there and have some bees flying around outside, get some honey dripping around all over the place, this is going to be a really good shop for that particular thing. I've got such a shulker monster happening over here now, though, I don't really know where much of anything is. We've got lots of empty boxes and lots of boxes just full of all sorts of things but they're all the sorts of things we're going to need to actually sort out the inside of this and I think we're gonna start with the downstairs here I just need to work out a layout so I think I'm gonna put some form of shelving unit on this back wall here we'll have a couple of bee nests as well just to tie it together a bit better and we'll leave space for some candles and things as well on some of these shelves I think that's gonna work quite nicely but I think what I'm gonna do is put in a sales counter on this area here so maybe have that coming out from there and then maybe another shelving unit at the back there as well and that means we can still put something in the window over here without it actually getting in the way of anything which is nice i do however think we need just a little bit of sticky honey around just to bring the place together a little bit better i have it dripping down from upstairs maybe that should do the trick and i've added some stuff to the floor as well covered it in trapdoors which i think works quite well the only problem we've got here now is it's a little bit dark so we definitely need to get some lighting in and as you can see, I've also decided to raise the ceiling because it was a little bit too cramped down there, a little bit too cosy. And this way we can have lots of honey and stuff going on up in the ceiling. We can get some trapdoors in and so on. And I think we can get this looking quite nice. But I've completely run out of oak trapdoors for now, so let's see what we can find. There we go, that's looking much better and I've decided to swap out the floor. We're actually using beehives and the tops of them are showing quite nicely. Now I just need to scatter some candles about. Can't put them on trapdoors and that makes me sad. And we need a bunch of frames. And then we'll use those to show what we're actually selling. So we'll do candles in one of the ones over here I guess. In fact we'll put the honeycomb there and the honeycomb blocks there. We'll put the honey bottles and the honey blocks there and I guess we could actually just swap out one of these front ones maybe and put candles in one of those. We'll knock out these windows so that we can get an armor stand in. Maybe oh, let's get past the gate. There we go. And then out the front here, I think we can probably swap this out for honey-related stuff, can't we? So, uh, let me grab that barrel quickly, actually, because we could do with that in here for the candles. Let's have a bit dripping down out of the window as well. Beautiful. And on the spot directly below that bit, we'll have a little splash area as well. That actually looks really cool. I like that. So the inside's coming along, but we do need to light these candles. It's a little bit dark in here, isn't it? Let's see if we've got a flint and steel handy. There we go. Get these candles. Candles lit, get a bit of light in this place, much nicer. It was quite a creepy looking little shop actually, I like it. So one thing I sadly don't have any more of, which I would have quite liked, is the bee nests. We don't have any whatsoever, so I think, considering we're actually a little bit short on oak and birch as well, I'm going to spend a bit of time chopping some trees in the hope we can get some more bee nests. We've placed them all in here, you see, but it's okay, we can get some fresh ones. So I've acquired myself a Liara avatar, which I think we're going to use in this wonderful bee shop. What outfits does she have? Okay, we have a squid hat and we have the axolotl. Uh, I think we're just going to go with normal for this one, actually. And I think we're just going to have Liara looking intensely at some candles. But we did chop down a bunch of birch trees as well, and we managed to get ourselves four bee nests, which isn't loads, but it should at least be enough for what we need. So I definitely want to put one up here as the sort of main shop sign. And hopefully we've got some bees in that as well. But I've got a few other nests as well, and I think I want to put some in here somehow, somewhere. Hmm maybe one up here we'll stick one up there as well and i think i want one last one maybe maybe just in that gap there 
However, it might also be handy to get some flowers in here as well. Otherwise, the bees are probably going to cause us some problems. So, flower pots. We'll put a flower in here. And we'll stick one or two upstairs as well, I think. And there we go. We now have the bees outside the shop. They're using the flowers right there, which is perfect. So, hopefully, they won't get lost from their bee nests. And on the inside, there are bees all around. I fully expect some of these to escape at some point. In fact, they're already trying. Although, what we could do is actually use the bees on the inside to gather a few bee heads and maybe have fake bees around. That could potentially work. Although, if I hit one of them, they're all going to turn on me, aren't they? Yeah, there's definitely too many bees in here. I'm going to I'm gonna deal with some of them, let's say. But I need to make sure that these ones out the front here don't get angry as well. And they look like they're all back inside their nest now. So I guess... Um, oh, dear. This is, this is no way to introduce a new shop. Well, it's a lot quieter, but for some reason we didn't get a single bee head from that, which is a bit weird because they're supposed to drop a bee head every time, I thought. But the ones out the front here should still be safe and well. They didn't get angry, or if they did, they didn't get out of their hive. So let's just sort out this armor stand. I think he needs an outfit. Conveniently, Beardy's Boutique is just next door. So I'm going to do some yellow boots, some black trousers, and a yellow top with a black hat, I think. And I think that's about as bee-like as we're going to get, but it's not too bad. So the last thing we actually need to do in here is just to light a few more of these candles, in fact, and we need to add some stock. But other than that, I think we're just about done in here, which means it's time to move on to the next shop. And I think in here, oof, we've got a lot of space, actually. Hmm. But I think what I might do in here, actually, is sell iron because we have so much iron. I think it makes sense just to join the iron selling business. You never know, people might buy it, but if they don't, at least we've got somewhere to store loads. Because our chests at the mob farm are just overflowing at the moment, and that is unacceptable. How are we going to lay this out? Maybe something along these lines will work? I wanted to make it look a little bit messier than the other shops. Just a big pile of iron with some barrels about that are going to have stuff in. But I'm thinking something like this could work. I do want to, of course, mess around with the armor stands, get them a bit more integrated into what's going on here, get some bits in the pots, and so on. And the good thing is there's plenty of storage and places to actually put things, so we shouldn't have any trouble keeping this well stocked. And we do actually also have some additional space upstairs. I want to get a few more barrels in here. I want to get a couple of shelves up with some barrels on and so on. But this is basically just overflow to fill up the space, if I'm perfectly honest. So I think I want to mess with some armor stands a little bit in here as well. And in theory, if I do that, and maybe it's this die. It is that die. Excellent. So if we push this dude all the way back into the corner. Beautiful. And then kit him out with a little bit of armor and some trousers and a helmet as well. Lovely jubbly. I think maybe push him back just a little bit more. That is not what I wanted to do. Um, let's just push him back there and maybe give him an iron block. Perfect. And then we'll get some flowers in the pots. Are there any more? There's one there. And maybe an anvil on top there just for good measure. Excellent. I think this is pretty much good to be stocked. It's nothing too special, but it will certainly do the job. It will be a good storage place over here for our excess iron if no one actually buys it. And we've got a front door on as well. Excellent. So the last thing to do is, of course, to sort out a sign out the front here. And I've got an idea of what we're going to do here. I think it should work quite well. We just need one of these and a piece of that. And what I want to do here is get an anvil hanging down. But in order to do that... Got to be quite careful with where we place some string here. So like that, and in theory, that should hold it up there just fine. Excellent. There was an incident. Look, my phone rang. I forgot to log out. I just, I just kind of went to the not pause screen, but menu screen, and yep, now I'm dead. So I guess we need to spend some time getting some new gear. Yeah.
so later and we've pretty much got all of our equipment back, apart from a couple of netherite tools down here. But I think I'm going to take this opportunity to keep on upgrading and go blow up the nether a little bit. <laughs> a couple of hours since our unfortunate death but i'm pleased to say we are now fully recovered in fact i think we might be better off i'm fairly sure we didn't have netherite before but we do now and doesn't it look pretty so the last thing we got done was of course the iron shop and now i want to move around the corner onto this next one and we have a little bit of a plan for this we were chatting about this shop on stream and somebody came up with a good idea i'm really sorry i can't remember who it was but the discussion led on that we should turn the downstairs here into a bakery and maybe knock out some of this to put some glass windows in but it does kind of depend where the path is yeah that might not work we'll see but if we make the downstairs bit here a bakery we can sell all the cakes and pumpkin pies and all the other things we can get from our farmers that no one's ever gonna buy and then up the top here we can have some seating lots and lots of seating and then we'll just have a storage area up here for extra food and whatnot but i think this should work quite nicely but we're definitely going to need to get some windows on this bakery and not sure if that's going to be the best place we could potentially put a few in down there at floor level but i do wonder if we actually convert this sort of middle section here into a window. In fact, I think that's going to work better than expected. We'll be able to get a few cakes in the window. We will, of course, get some glass in there as well. And then we just need to, of course, do the interior. So I'm going to get to work on this. And I'll bring you back in once we've got something looking a little bit nicer down here. And hopefully I won't die again in the meantime. I think we're making some good progress here. I'm working out a layout. We've got plenty of storage for the random bits of food we're going to be selling in here. I use that term loosely. But I think this is going to work out quite nicely. It's like a little bakery, a little cafe. We'll get some cakes about. And upstairs, it's still completely empty. But we will get lots of tables and chairs in up here. But I think I want to get the downstairs finished first, which means we need to head over to our industrial area and go see our villagers. Hello there, doggo. Lots of stray dogs in this town, I've noticed. Well, I have to say, I absolutely love this view from the window. But after a little bit of villager trading and some spammage of signs, I think... Beardy's Bready Bakery is pretty much ready to open. So what I managed to do is trade lots of cakes and bread and pumpkin pies and of course the wonderful cookies with our villager friends here. And I've, you know, I've got some stock in there. I don't expect to sell any of it. But this does mean that the bakery, downstairs at least, is now ready to open. However, in regards to the upstairs, I've had a bit of a change of heart. So I've currently just got it marked as staff and there's not actually anything up here. But I did start putting in some tables and chairs and things and... I don't know. It just, it didn't really feel right. I mean, it's kind of like a medieval kind of theme. I mean, it already looks a little bit too clean and modern down here as it is, so I might switch up a few little bits. But adding in a seating area up here just really didn't sit right with me. So I think what I'm actually going to do instead, once I actually figure out how I'm going to do it, is to turn this bit up here into the actual kitchen of the bakery. And we'll switch up the downstairs bit here just a little bit, just to make it so that the counter goes to there, and these stairs can only be accessed from behind the counter. But then up here, I, I really want to try and have a go at building some kind of a bakery, kitchen-y type thing up here. And I really don't know how that's going to go. It's going to take a bit of experimentation. So we'll have to save that for a future episode. But, as I say, I'm very pleased with how this has come out i think it's looking absolutely fantastic and alongside our brand new iron shop which is also now stocked and priced up and so on the only thing we're actually still missing is avatars in here and in the bakery that are actually going to sell the goods to people and of course we have our b shop as well which once again is now all fully stocked priced up and good to go so you may have noticed that at the start of the episode these buildings weren't here so during the last week we have had a couple of streams and during those streams we've been well fighting with us because that's what i get made to do but also we have been putting up some new buildings so this kind of creates a little alleyway up to the top here where of course we have another building that is still empty but up here this leads to the back of these three buildings and in fact we've got a few different floors here they still need a bit of work there's no windows there's no detailing and so on 
But we've got kind of an upstairs room slash shop type building there. We've got a two-story one here as well. And another two-story building here. But this is actually one ginormous building. So yeah, that should open itself up quite a lot to what we can do with it in future. But I've also put in this little tunnel here. And this actually goes into the side of the mountain. The purpose of this is eventually going to be to link up to our cave base down there. But once again, that's probably not going to happen anytime soon. For now, we can just glide and fly our way. It's fine. But back to the shops we have built today to officially get these three open. There's one thing we still need to do. And that is to go into the... There's a book. Why is there a book? Fair invitation. Ooh, a fair invitation. Come one, come all to the truly bedrock country fair. Located across from Chaos Hill, rides, games, and contests. I've hoped to meet many of you in my wanderings across the world, but alas, I have seen very few of you. I'll be hosting a county fair across from Chaos Hill near the fast travel portal for the next few days. Claim a booth near the stage in the back and stock it with the food you are most proud of. The best food will win a prize. Enjoy the rides and games. Hopefully, we shall see each other there soon. Piggy. Well, isn't that just fantastic? I love a good fair. The only thing is... I, I don't really have a favourite food. I just, I, I eat whatever's in my hand in the same way that I, I use whatever's in my hand as, as temporary scaffolding blocks because the actual block is horrible. So I guess we'll go check out the fair on the next episode because sadly we're actually out of time here for today. There's one last thing I need to do and that is just to list my new shops in my book. But I hope you have enjoyed the episode and I'll see you all on the next one. Bye-bye now. And candles. That should just about do it.